In adventure mode, there are two rules. One, you cannot break blocks. And two, you cannot place blocks. Many people have said it is physically impossible to beat adventure mode without using cheats, spawning in blocks, or having other players to do stuff for you. But I found a way to beat Minecraft in adventure mode by using a super flat world. That wasn't a joke. It all started months ago. I was playing adventure mode with a few friends on a set seed. We knew that there was a lit end portal somewhere in the world, meaning all we had to do was collect some stuff, go to a stronghold, and we beat Minecraft in adventure mode. It was fun, but it felt cheaty. The idea of legitimately beating adventure mode on a completely random seed stayed with me. As I said, in adventure mode, you cannot place down blocks, so finding an already placed down crafting table is crucial. The only structure that has a pre-placed crafting table in a super flat world is a pillager outpost. Ooh, actually this could be really good. Now, the main thing I need is iron to craft a bucket and I'll explain why a bucket in just a second. Dude, there's so many pillagers. But I saw an iron golem fighting pillagers at the outpost and I saw it getting killed dropping iron. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's so many! No! Get the iron, get the iron! Go, go, go! Oh my god, there's so many! There's so many! There's so many! This was huge. Getting a bucket was one of the hardest things I had to do in this challenge, and I got it within minutes of starting the world. But the reason I needed a bucket was so that I could use lava and water to build up a nether portal. In the meantime, I started looting every structure I saw. I found some armor, some food, a saddle, and tamed a horse. Getting a horse isn't vital at all to beating adventure mode. I, I, I just wanted a horse. <laughs> uh, yeah! But I got into a routine of looting villages in the morning, and at night, I would try to break blocks using creepers. Ugh! Remember, this is the only way for me to get blocks. Boom! Yes! It was a very slow and no! deadly process, no! and if I'm honest, I wasn't really too sure what I was going to use to craft with Boom! the wood. Yes! Oh, I'm a genius! I got one log from that! That was not worth it! Oh my gosh! Because I'm on a super flat world, there are so many more mobs that spawn during the night. I mean, you saw how many pillagers spawned earlier. Like, that is not a normal number of pillagers. So, as a way to attempt to stay alive, I would try to explode gosh. creepers to kill mobs Child. and get wood at Whoa. the same time. Boom! And the kid! He's gone! And sometimes it worked pretty well. Oh no! There's three that teamed up on me! Boom! Get him again! No way! I got all of them! That was so good! But now that I had some decent loot, I figured it would be a good time to try to find the stronghold. Normally, it would be practically impossible to find the stronghold randomly, without any eyes of Ender to point you in the right direction. But this is the exact reason why I chose to do this in a super flat world. For whatever reason, strongholds generate at the exact same coordinates across any world, regardless of the sea. For example, there is a stronghold right here at coordinates minus 200 minus 1700. If I copy these coordinates, load up a new super flat world, then teleport to those same coordinates again, there should be a stronghold right here. Boom! Every time. No matter what super flat world you go into, strongholds generate at the exact same coordinates. And thankfully, someone made a list of where all the strongholds generate at. So all I have to do is go to the closest one. Soon after, I found a stronghold. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, we found it. As I planned, I was going to use the lava that generated in the stronghold to make a portal. You can't use a bucket? What? That's right. You can't use buckets in adventure mode. Oh, poop. Trying to go to the nether is where most runs of adventure mode fail. Dude, what am I doing, man? I proceeded to spend the next two hours scrolling through the Minecraft wiki for any workaround that I could find. And eventually, I found one. Certain blocks can now be removed with the correct tools and all the- All blocks can be placed! Version 1.4.2. Why am I not doing it in this version? So I did it in this version. I, I cannot break anything. I am in adventure mode on version 1.4.2. Why am I Steve skin? I don't know why am I- I got some food, used creepers to explode wood, just like before, and I actually ended up finding a crafting table. Oh with these materials, I could craft a stone axe. And only with this axe, 
could I mine wood? There we go. In adventure mode, mining something. Oh my gosh. I then made a pickaxe, letting me mine cobblestone, crafted a furnace to cook some food. I needed this. I was literally on the verge of death. <laughs> but it wasn't easy sailing from here. The only source of loot was from blacksmith chests and strongholds, which I was not ready to go to yet. Because of this, I was incredibly weak. But apart from that, I had one thing on my mind. Where's an iron golem? You would have thought an iron golem would have spawned by now. You see, my goal is still to get a bucket and use that to go to the nether once I reached the stronghold. However, the only way to get iron is by killing iron golems. But I had been to like three or four villages at this point and there had been no iron golems in sight. Something was up and I had to investigate. Basically, I scrolled through YouTube until I saw something. It turns out, iron golems can only spawn when there are 32 villagers. I had not seen a village large enough for 32 villagers, meaning I need a villager farm. Yeah, I'm gonna need so many more villagers than this. According to the 11 year old YouTube video I found about this, I'm not kidding, this video is actually a lifesaver, it's so good. To get more villagers, I need to lock them in a box like this, then clear out a two block perimeter around the box, then, and this was the bit that really confused me, place doors around the outside side. Bam. This is supposed to trick the game into thinking they're different houses or something. I'll be honest, I have no idea. But even then, that's not enough. I need to go around again with doors to double trick the game or something. And then, and only then, can villagers breed. Oh, oh the freaking, the freaking. And it wasn't long until my first iron golem spawned. I'm trying to get a few more of these. Oh! Well, hello. I think he's stuck. Yep. This took so long to get, but it meant I could finally craft a bucket and if I found a stronghold, I could make a nether portal in adventure mode, just like how I originally planned. Now, if you remember way back to two minutes ago, I said that someone made a list of all the coordinates strongholds generate at in a super flat world. So I planned on using that same list to find the stronghold again. The stronghold is this way about 2,000 blocks away. It's gonna be a long journey, <laughs> but I did have a sneaking suspicion that this list wasn't gonna work. My doubt for the list working comes from the fact that I had to adjust the default settings for strongholds to generate in the first place. That and the fact that this version of Minecraft is so incredibly broken. Whoa, hello, how do you- oh, hello? Hello? Uh <laughs> What is going on? What is going okay, on? Okay, so we should see a stronghold somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be super sky high or if it's going to be fairly low down. But the stronghold should be, like, here. Like, in view. Unless it's wrong. My suspicion was right. Yeah, we've gone past it. Okay. So the stronghold should have spawned here somewhere. This meant I had to use an eye bender to find the stronghold. I guess uh, technically I could just keep walking around and pray that I stumble across a stronghold, but the chance of that happening is incredibly low. I'd be better off looting villages until I had enough materials to make another portal on my own, which was my plan until I saw this purple villager. No way. What? Bro, I had no idea this was a thing. What? Oh my gosh. What? Keep this guy alive at all costs. Oh my gosh. This meant I could skip the whole nether section and go straight to the end. The only thing stopping me is that I'm poor. I need emeralds, basically. Now, there were a few options I had to get emeralds. One villager was trading for books, which would normally be quite tough to get, but I could take some books from his house and sell them right back to him. Is this legal? I don't know. I, I feel bad doing this. I don't know. Another villager was trading for wheat, so I got to work building up a massive wheat farm. I converted a few other villager farms into wheat farms too, with walls around them so slime don't jump in and break the crops. And can I just say, slimes in this version are so annoying. The sound they make is constant, and it's not a pleasant sound either. Sometimes the game doesn't even register when you hit them. It's just so Weird. painful to deal with. Oh, hello. When it's just one of them that don't do any damage, they're okay. I'll call you Dookie. Right, I'm gonna get some emeralds. I'll see you later, Dookie. There was also one more trade I tried to go for, which was for cooked fish, but this this was such a bad idea. I spent like 20 minutes fishing and I, I I couldn't even afford one emerald after all of that. It was a waste of time, really. So I ditched that plan and went all in on the wheat farm. Whoa! 
No! Oh, you're joking. My day in this world was simple. I would expand the farm in the morning, kill any slime that were destroying crops. Oh, Dookie, what are you doing? Then I would AFK, letting all the wheat grow for about an hour, then harvest all the crops, rinse and repeat until eventually I had enough wheat. However, when I went to trade with the villagers, there was a problem. What? Why won't it go? Apparently, in this update, once villagers run out of trades, oh. they don't restock ever again. Oh, crap. So after exactly seven trades with an item, you're done. That's it, kapoof. That villager will never trade that item again. This meant I had to go to so many other villagers to find books and wheat trades, which originally was a bad thing, and for the most part, it really is. Like, what maniac at Mojang thought that was a good idea to add that mechanic into the game? But it did let me find more purple, guys. Ooh, okay, we can trade with this. Please have the Eye of Ender trade. Don't run away from me. <laughs> you have the trade! Holy moly! Okay, okay, push this guy away, push this guy away. On a side note, I found out the proper name for these guys are clerics, but I think that's a stupid name and I prefer purple guy. Anyway, I noted down the coordinates of where those purple guys were. I then made it all the way back to my base. Ah, oh, okie dokie, back to base. Which, by the way, I've kind of just taken over this place without the course of beating adventure mode. I'm not sure where the librarian who originally owned this house went. I haven't seen him in a while. I, I think he died. Time to get the eyes of Ender. All of them we're getting. Oh, hi, Dookie. I'll see you later. Keep the village safe while I'm gone. God, Dookie's so cool, man. God, there he is, there he is, there he is. Boom, I would like to purchase four Eyes of Ender. Bam, there we go. So back at the base, I have nine. So in total, I now have 13 Eyes of Ender. That should be enough. I don't think we need any more. I then spent about an hour getting prepared, crafting, and enchanting everything I would need for the end fight. Bam. Oh, it used all of my levels. It used all of my levels. What was that? Hey, Dookie, when I'm gone. I'm gonna put you in charge. You know, feel free to spice up the area a bit more. I've kind of destroyed these houses. They could do with touching up. You do whatever you want. I'll put you in charge of that, I think. So make sure these guys are alive. Make sure they're happy. If I come back and all these villagers are in zombies, I won't be happy, Dookie, okay? Okay, you got that. Okay, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> make a start. <laughs> okay. He's a good kid, Dookie, he is. The stronghold is currently located that way. Holy moly. And it broke. Great. Typical, innit? Now that I had the eyes of Ender, I soon found the stronghold. <gasps> there it is! Oh, that's, that was a big lag spike. Holy moly, but there it is! Armor's on. Sword is in hand. Got a cool bow with me. We are good to go. Not yet, though because I want to go to the toilet. To be the first ever player to beat Minecraft in adventure mode. Let's do this, baby. <sighs> Let's go. The poo was really good, by the way, if anyone was curious. Okay, time to take this guy out. Bam. Oh, what a shot. Why are there pillars over there? Pillars in a row here, and some all the way over here. It's meant to be in a ring, no? The ender dragon just keeps hitting me. No! Oh! I only have a certain number of hours left. I can't just keep pinging them off. I wish I bought my hours there now. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, God. Blimey, Jiminy Cricket on a biscuit, man. Yes. Oh, go away. That was so cool. Bam. Yes. There you go, baby. Yes, baby. Oh, oh. That was epic. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, Dookie. Good job keeping the place safe. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm recording. I'm recording. Okay. Three, okay. Uh, two, that was the end of the video. Uh, subscribe, uh, subscribe, 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 subscribe,